Hi, welcome to the Page Family Homestead. My name is Peggy. It's still cold and flu season. We're not out of the woods yet. Let's make us some elderberry syrup. So good, your kids won't mind taking it every day. Let's go. Okay, so we're going to be making elderberry syrup. Previously in the season, we made tincture, but we're, I let it get out of control. I let, I let it run down. I didn't make some more to back it up. So we're gonna make the syrup. Um, we buy our elderberries, they're, they're dried already, from Star West Botanicals. I love using them to get our elderberries. They're priced very reasonably. I get them on Amazon. Um, they come to my door the next day or the day after, right? Two, one or two days. I've used, we're going to use the Instant Pot. You can do this on your stove top. By doing it on the stove top, you have to bring it to a gentle boil and then turn it down to a simmer for like 30, 40, 50 minutes. And it's Saturday, it's jam day, I don't have time, but we're both still wanting to keep our elderberry in us. Um, I want to do a little disclosure. I'm not a medical professional. This is a herbal remedy and it is in no way to replace medical attention or advice from your physician. If you are pregnant or nursing, in any situation with any, any remedy going into your body, you want to consult your physician first. Um, with infants, children under one year, I do not recommend using this recipe um, without consulting your doctor first. And also because we are going to be adding one cup of raw honey. Um, if your physician was okay with the elderberry syrup, then instead of the raw honey for infants, I would use maple syrup. That way you're not endangering your child while you're trying to help them. Um, the benefits of elderberry we will discuss as we go along. Uh, I'll open it up here so you can see. The dried berries are so tiny. Like there's nothing there. Nothing to them. And when they're fresh, <laughs> they're not that much bigger than this. Oh, I let two escape. Now, the only part of the elderberry bush that is not poisonous is the actual berry. The twigs, the branches, the leaves, the roots, stay away. Oh, they're not good for you. They're deadly. All right, so you want to, when you take them out, you want to, the little bit of stem that's in there isn't going to hurt you, but I go through it anyway, just like I do when I open a bag of frozen peas. I always check and look for nightshade, right? So just, just check and, and clean them up. Now they do say to, even though it's in an Instapot, it's always best to soak your berries because they're dried so we want to rehydrate them somewhat so that's why you're going to see some discolored in there I used four cup we need four cups of filtered water for the recipe so I used my four cups of filtered water to soak our elderberries for one hour prior so we're going to pour those in we're not going to miss a single berry either trust me these things are gold um they have a lot of, what's it's like aluminum, antioxidant, antioxidants. Antioxidants, yeah. Thank you. And uh, they are amazing. If you are trying to avoid the cold and flu season, then I would suggest you start this in September and take daily doses until March, April. When cold, we'll check for cold and flu season in your area. Um, it can help prevent it completely so far, and I mean so far with Andy's lungs, touch wood. <laughs> we have not come down with one. We've both of us um, felt like <clears throat> we're getting <clears throat> a sore throat or a little nasally, and we doubled up our doses until that went away. Um, if you do become inflicted with a flu, a cold, a virus like that, like 
make sure you take it like four or five times a day, right? But see your doctor. Taking it four, four or five times a day will help <clears throat> minimize your symptoms so quickly. Uh, other countries, not Canada, United States, we don't care too much. I mean, the medical profession doesn't really care about the herbal remedies where the European countries are so into it and so open. They've done some medical studies, they're actual facts, that the people who use this actually heal and get rid of their flu and colds quicker. You can't beat that. And it's all natural ingredients. So we got four cups of water. We've soaked our elderberries for about one hour. They taste... <laughs> I, I think they smell kind of gross. Don't you? Yeah, I don't like the taste of it. <laughs> no. So we're going to fix that. Well, that's like Buckley's. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter what the taste is. Well, the works. tincture. So, You're basing it yeah, on the tincture yes, and it's brutal. But it does the trick. So we're making this so that we can have it right away, and also um, I might gift some for the for the grandkids, right? Like it can't hurt them. Um, you could either put in a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. I'm going to use two cinnamon sticks. I've got just I just I peeled and rough chopped a knob of ginger, fresh ginger. If you don't have fresh ginger. Don't worry about it. And the best way to peel ginger, by the way, is with the back of a spoon. I should have showed you. Just do this. Like, I just did a rough peel because I, I'm going to strain it all. Um, you could use a tea, half teaspoon, teaspoon of ground ginger if you don't have fresh. Not a worry. Um, also in here, I have a teaspoon of nutmeg and a teaspoon of allspice. And that's going in. And that's going in to help it taste good, too. But they also have healing attributes. I'm going to add one quarter cup of apple cider vinegar with the mother. Should actually put more, but I ran out. So I'm putting in the quarter cup. I would have liked to have put in a half cup. Got that. Uh, the honey, we're going to use one cup of raw natural honey. Try to get local. Um, it's the local honey that assists you when you have allergy issues because it's collected the pollen in your geographical area. Um, we have a local honey bee man <laughs> trying to learn as much as we can from him too. But um, we're going to add this after. If we put it in now, yeah it'll taste nice, but we're going to kill all the healing attributes from the heat from our honey. So we're, we're going to put this aside for now. Um, in it I'm going to add a full orange. I've squeezed it. So we're just going to add the full orange and its beautiful juice. Get that in there. I think that's everything. The honey goes in after. Now this is not, like I said, we've always made the tincture. I've had the syrup. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Da -da, da -da, da -da. And we're going to take our spoon out. Wouldn't that be something? Put it on to the seal. Seal. And we're going to do uh, cook pressure. I want. 10 minutes. I'm going to let this stay here. It's going to come up to pressure. Once it comes up to pressure, the timer will count down. Once it counts down, I'm going to do what they call a quick release. Let the steam out. I'm going to remove the pot. A lot of people strain it at that point. I don't want to. I want those berries. I want it to come to room temperature so we can add the honey, but I want it to come to room temperature with the <coughs> berries and all those goodies in it. Then I'll strain it. Then we'll add the honey. We'll bring you back for parts of that. So the buzzer went off two minutes ago. I was busy. So we're going to do a quick release. This is what scares everybody. Don't need to be. Just, you know, and if you're worried about touching it, use a spoon or use this just to knock it in. But, you know, I'm not a coward. <laughs> Worried about the steam. 
cover it. This is going to take a few minutes. It is really hot. I'm not going to bore you to stand in here like this. Bring you back when she's all done spewing. Okay, so it stopped releasing. I said I, I missed it, the uh, alarm by two minutes. So it only took two minutes to steam out. So I just make, at this point, I unplug. Good some idea. people do, some people don't. You turn, lift away from your face. Because the steam is there. And put this over here for now. Look in here. Holy jeez, yeah. And smell it. Mm, it smells good. Remember that gross smell we started out with? Yeah. Oh. Now it smells really good. That You can smell the cinnamon. Mm -hmm. mm, it smells good. Now I don't, a lot of people strain at this point, and you can, but I'm a cheapskate and I want to get the best out of everything that I can possibly get for Andy and me. So I'm just going to remove it from here because that's hot. I should have it on a trivet. And I will. Pot holders work. Look at that. I'm going to let this come down to room temperature and bring you back when we're straining. See you shortly. I'm not a very patient person. <laughs> I couldn't wait. So what I did was I filled up my larger pot with cold water and set this in it. And it cooled down really quickly. So, I've got a cheap dollar store strainer, a nice big bowl. Oh, this bowl, by the way, is from one of the original KitchenAids from like back in the 50s. It was inherited from my mom, gifted from my mom. We used it all through my childhood for everything, everything imaginable. Um, not the new ones aren't made like these. So you could use cheesecloth if you're one of those people that doesn't like little fragments of anything in your if I was selling this I would use cheesecloth. I'm not. So we're gonna just let it sit here and strain all those berries. Oh, it smells so good. It's not going to be a brute. No wonder kids like the syrup, man. This smells divine. Just going to press it out. You know, when you make jelly, you don't do this because it clouds your jelly, right? So, we're not making jelly. I just want to get all the juice I can out of... Wow, look at that. I just pushed right through that peel like it was butter from cooking in that Instant mm. Pot under pressure, eh? Oh, look at that. <coughs> and look what we've got. This is nice. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit for 10 minutes. I want, like I seriously want everything out of here I can get. But before I forget, I don't wanna, I'm gonna forget, there's some important things I jotted down that I wanted to bring to your attention. I'm going to be storing these in pint jars. Um, I'm going to keep one in the fridge. And if you weren't using it, going through it very quickly, you could keep one in the freezer for up to a year. It would take a couple days to thaw. Um, I saw that said somewhere on the internet. I personally know that because we're going to be taking this daily, I'm just going to put both of them in the fridge. Um, they'll keep two, up to two months, I believe, but it's not even going to last that long because like we take this religiously. First thing when we do, we get up in the morning is we take it. Adults, um, the tincture dosage is different than the syrup. For the syrup, an adult would take two tablespoons daily. A child 12 and under would take one tablespoon daily. That is to prevent, help prevent the cold and flu. Um, if you still get hit with one, you want to up that dose to four or five times a day mm -hmm. until your symptoms alleviate and disappear. Uh, you still need to see that doctor, right? You don't play with cold and flu. But uh, 
it's good in the fridge for up to two months right um, it does shorten the duration of whatever ailment has nailed you uh, it's got a lot of vitamin A, D, and tons and tons of vitamin C, antioxidants. Um, it can help boost your immune system, which does help you ward off those sicknesses, right? It's very important, uh, especially today. So what I like about it, too, is i got to get my friend Judy in on this. It helps with uh, all nervous system issues, like, like fi fibromyalgia. It helps lessen... When you get a fibro flare, it helps control that somewhat, a little bit less than what you would be typically feeling. Um, it also will help with people with chronic leg syndrome. Andy, actually, oh, but have you, since we started taking the tinctures, like all winter, have you actually suffered from it as much as you usually no, do? No, I never even Not thought of that until just now because that would bother you quite a bit. Yeah. So it, it is helping Andy also with that, right? And with his lung issues, we need to keep the cold and flu down to a minimum. And I just talked you through all this time. So let's see if this is done. Instead of breaking again. Yeah, there's 10 minutes gone. <laughs> I know. I don't shut up. <laughs> I think we're safe. Okay. So we're going to carry on. I have things put in weird places. What's this? Here it is. The wisp. The wisp. Okay, in goes our honey. Oh, yeah. Maybe it'll fit in there. Yep. Mm. This is going to be so good. It's not going to taste as adulty a medicine as the uh, tinctures did, right? more pleasant. Now the tinctures we only took one tablespoon as a daily dose but it takes how long did it take honey we did this is our third batch of elderberries but how long did the tincture sit that time was it like six weeks or something? Yeah it was six to eight weeks. Uh, yeah. We don't have that time don't nope. have that luxury. That's why you have to make it prior in advance before flu season. But I think we're going to do this. Yeah. I mean, it's ready to go. No, that's we can what take I mean. it right this now. Is, this is perfect. Right? In well, fact, I can't because that wisp is in the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Smell mm, good, eh? Smells like a really good. Yeah. I'm going to. There's honey like in the that. Spoon. Well, no, because I can't put it back in then, can I? <laughs> Don't tell me. It's you okay. Can. I'll shut the camera off. No, <laughs> <I'm kidding>. gross. <laughs> I am gotta have a taste. I'm sorry. It just smells too good. Oh, I'll be taking my two tablespoons every day, and That's your child so would no problem get a tablespoon down in them either. Hmm. Oh, that's good. So I'm oh, going to okay. pour these. Pour it, back. <laughs> it has antioxidants. I just did that. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put this in my wine pint jars. Close them up. Put them in the fridge. Okay? Shortens the duration of the bug that's got you. Get it in you. Thanks for visiting with us. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, please. And see you next time.